This is a project update for my ESP32 smartwatch project, which I've been working on over at my Hackaday.io page. I've completed revision 5 of the board, which brings significant improvements to the form factor of the smartwatch while maintaining core features such as USB programming and charging. The revision 5 board allows the PCB and battery to sit on the same plane, reducing the overall thickness of the watch by 25%. With this change, the battery size was also reduced to 270 milliamp hours, which still allows the watch to operate for up to three days on a full charge under normal use. The 3D printed case was also completely redesigned to accommodate the new board and reduce the overall footprint on the user's wrist. In addition, the firmware has been updated with two new apps, a Bluetooth Receive app and a Calculator app. The Calculator offers the basic Add, Subtract, Multiply, and Divide functions that are standard for any calculator, and with the screen size available on the watch, it's very easy to use. The Bluetooth Receive app allows for external devices to communicate to the ESP32 smartwatch using a Bluetooth serial link. This can be used to debug projects which aren't connected directly to a PC. This project is open source and all the files are available in the project's GitHub repo, which is linked in the description. The Android app has been moved to its own project repo along with an example sketch to allow an ESP32 to interface with it over BLE. I have also created a quick port of some of this project's firmware to the TTGO T-Watch 2020, which allows the T-Watch to control Spotify and read Android notifications. Once again, the link is in the description if you're interested in that. If you like the project, check out the Hackaday.io page below where you can see project logs and updates about the project as it goes on. Also feel free to check out the GitHub repo where you can download all the files required to make this watch yourself. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next log.